What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing? I want to do a quick video on this Wednesday to give you guys a very brief update in what has become our new kind of almost daily Paul series, but not quite, or something like that. And in this one, we want to talk about health issues again. And other than, you know, my blood pressure's fine. We've been eating great. I've been walking a lot at work and all of that kind of stuff. So all of that has been great. But over this past weekend, Lorena and I tested positive for COVID. Tested positive for COVID. So yeah, there's that, which means that I am now going to be out of work for the next 10 days, 10 to 12 days, but 10 days from now. Over the weekend, or I should say at the end of last week, Lori hadn't been feeling great. And when I got home from work on Thursday, uh, that night, I felt cold at night, but I didn't associate it with chills or anything. And that was, that was it. The next day, Lori started to feel a little bit stuffed up and a little bit of a cough and things like that. So, we hung out those next couple of days and as I started to get ready for work on Monday, I thought, you know what, I better check just in case. Now, Lori had bought a um, kit for two tests. Lori tested, Lori tested negative actually, and then I tested and I tested positive. Our conclusion is that we both have COVID-19. My thought process behind that is probably from hanging out with thousands of people every single day for seven weeks uh, that I got it from work. I'm not sure really because we're outdoors and I really feel that when you're outdoors the the likelihood is, is pretty slim to, to none. But we really hadn't been indoors much at all except for one, one day a uh, couple of weeks ago or it would have been just over a week ago. Uh, we had went to uh, Trader Sam's at the Polynesian Hotel, but but that's it. Uh, we hadn't been going out at all. We haven't been hanging around anybody. And like I said, I've only been outdoors. Now, both of us have been fully vaccinated. So again, Lori had very, very mild symptoms and I, I had no symptoms at all. So yeah, no, I mean, it, it has not been a big deal for us at all other than the fact that to do the right thing was to let work know that I had tested positive and as soon as you test positive for COVID obviously they're not gonna allow you to come in and be around uh, other people even though there were masking up indoors whenever we're around other folks were masking up on buses in vans in trucks indoor offices any of that kind of stuff where you're indoors there you're masked up but at the same time once you test positive they are going to uh, demand that you stay home for, for 10 days to uh, get over it and isolate. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, really, we isolated over the weekend anyways because uh, we were kind of suspicious of that. But I was kind of torn because again, I am, uh, because we're vaccinated uh, and I knew that we wouldn't be very, um, very contagious. I knew that there, that's still a, still a possibility. Uh, this stuff is not perfect. If you have a virus in you, regardless of whether you're vaccinated or not, you're going to be able to transmit some of that. So you're always best off to be careful either way and make sure that you're not you know, running around hugging strangers, kissing babies and doing that sort of thing. So yeah, that's it. We are, have been isolating. We will continue to isolate this week. Um, we've got enough food in the apartment to make it through the 10 days that we need to make it through. And that's not gonna be a problem. And like I said, both of us are feeling perfectly fine. Uh, no no symptoms at all, zero symptoms at this point. Uh, again, Lori's got a little bit of a tickle on her throat and that's that's about it. And uh, I always have that. Like literally, if as I was editing videos uh, from the other day, I even noticed it in a couple of my videos. I always have this little nagging cough that, that I've had for, I don't know how long, for the last decade or so. And I always associate it with, uh, with bronchitis, I guess, because I didn't used to have that until I got bronchitis once. And then since then, I always have this <clears throat> thing where I'm doing that. So I'm always clearing my throat. It's just something I've always had and always, always done. So that's, that's really all that, uh, that I've been seeing. And like I said, for me, it's not a big deal because it's something that I do anyways. 
But uh, yeah, don't uh, don't worry about us. Everything's everything's good. We've done really well with it. Uh, we really haven't felt uh, like Lori told me. She explained to me like just having a uh, like a, like flu-like symptoms or feeling feeling like she had a, just a bad cold. But uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we were both fully vaccinated. So the the you know the symptoms were were very few and far between for her, and like I said, pretty much non-existent for me. So. Yeah, that's it. COVID-19. Uh, we, we figured we would get it at some point. I mean, I think at this point, uh, everybody is going to get it at some point in time or another. And now that we both have, uh, we're both vaccinated and we've had COVID-19, according to new studies, uh, natural immunity is even better than the vaccinated immunity. So now we have both. So now we can kind of really kind of take a deep breath, if you will, and not worry about that anymore. Uh, again, we are still going to be uh, masking up when we're when we're indoors and around other people and doing that sort of thing because again, it's about keeping other people safe, not about keeping us safe. Uh, I really have no idea where where I may have picked it up. Uh, I know it wasn't Lori because she very very rarely has gone out in the past couple of weeks except for the grocery store when she's at the grocery store. Even though she's vaccinated, she's masked up and things like that. So I, I doubt it was that. And a lot of this has to do with the amount of time that you spend in somewhere. If you just go into a grocery store, you're in quick and out, you're really not in and exposed enough to enough of it to, uh, to, to get the disease. I don't think the virus, I should say. Again, all of that stuff is speculative. I am not a doctor, but everything that I've read about this stuff requires you to be in a fairly enclosed space for a long period of time. So the only place that I, I could have possibly got that it was like we were at uh, at a restaurant and that may have been it but don't know don't, doesn't matter really uh, where we got it we're just trying not to to spread it around anymore so we're doing that by both isolating uh, masking up if we go out to the car uh, earlier today we just wanted to get out of the house and go for a drive so we masked up walked out of the building to the car once we got in the car we took our masks off went for a drive uh, and then when we were done with our drive, we came back in, masked up, came back in the house. And that's what we're going to be doing here for the next uh, 10 days. So I think um, September 16th is the day that I'm allowed out and allowed back into the parks. But uh, Disney has their COVID protocols and their protocol says that from the, from the day you tested, which for me was Monday, um, I have to take 10 days from the day I tested positive, regardless of whether I was at the end of the, you know, that positive range or not, it's from the day you test positive out 10 days. So that's the scoop. So yeah, at some point, I think all of us are going to be touched by this at some point. Uh, my father's uh, girlfriend of 30 years, um, she got it last year and died from it. Uh, another friend of mine's father, uh, Raphael, his father got it and died from it. Our, our friend Chuck, as you know, uh, Chuck's father got it, looked like he was going to recover, uh, but then passed and obviously COVID was a, was a large part of that. We had a person that we used to buy stuff from, our vegetables and things in Los Barillas, a guy named Max. Uh, he was probably in his 50s, he died from it. And then we had one of the the ladies that we hung out with down there, um, Letty, she had a, a guy who used to cut her hair, like a young guy in his mid forties. Uh, he got COVID and died. So we, we've seen it now for the last year and a half or so, seen it around, seen the damage that it has caused to, to friends and family. And we are just trying to uh, minimize that as much as we possibly can from our set for ourselves and make sure that we're not going to be uh, causing any more of that spread so we're gonna hang out at the house do what we have to do and then once we know for sure we'll pop out and grab another test and uh, and test here within the next week or so just about as we get closer to the end of that 10 days we'll test to make sure that we test negative and then uh, then be back out in the world again and do our best to to keep moving on so that's it hope you guys had a better weekend than we did and i know there's a lot more serious stuff out there than that so uh hopefully you guys are doing all right no matter where it is you are in the world 
We appreciate you watching as usual. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us. That means you should hit that subscribe button, uh, click the little notifications bell, make sure you get a notification anytime the videos are uploaded, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Take care now. Bye.